What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Look, I don't usually do reaction videos. That's not my lane. That's not my thing. And uh, But I was watching something that caught my attention just now, and it made me want to kind of speak on it a little bit and get y'all's view on it, get y'all's take on it. Um, last night, the Pope... Pope Francis um, was greeting the people. He was walking through the crowd of people who had come out to see him. And he was walking through the crowd, shaking hands, touching the people, things of that nature. Things that um, ministers do and politicians do and entertainers do. Anybody who's in the public eye has at some point walked through the crowd of their supporters and have just greeted them and reached out and touched them. Now, this particular situation is a little different because as the Pope was walking through the crowd, shaking hands and greeting the people, as he was walking away, this one particular lady reached out and grabbed the Pope by his hand and pulled him back towards her I guess in an effort to get the Pope's blessings now when he when she pulled him he was caught off guard he was caught by surprise that the lady like snatched him like that and in a spontaneous move of, of, I guess, anger, he slapped the lady's hand away. He slapped the lady's hand and, like, snatched his hand away. Now, the people are starting to question whether to say, well, what, was the Pope wrong? Um, the Pope did come out and apologize today and said that he set a bad example and he lost his patience and that to hit women is a disrespect to God which it is which I agree with that um, the only slippery slope that I guess I'm gonna end up dancing on on this particular situation was that even though he could have showed a little more patience and restraint in the situation based on the fact that he knows who he is and he knows how or he should know how people view him and people revere him and mistakenly people mistakenly also view individuals like the Pope and other ministers and preachers and religious figures they view them to be um, equivalent to God, to be worshipped. So her reverence for the Pope was expressed in a form of desperation, in my opinion, where she was like, he's right there and I just want him to pray for me or I, I want to touch him to receive some kind of holy blessing just from touching, as they say in the Christian world, the hem of his garment. But in this particular case, grabbing his hand. Now, what I did, I rewinded the video. Y'all go watch it. You know, I'll put the link down low. But what I did was I went back to the moment before the Pope reached the lady. And I was looking at nobody but the lady. And the lady... As the Pope was coming, you could see the anticipation in her eyes that she was like, okay, he's coming, here he is. And she started doing her, you know how they do the, the, the cross, and because she, she has a belief in this man. Now, I'm no fan of the Pope of Rome. Y'all know me, y'all know her. But she has a belief in this man that this is a holy man coming to her in her view, my opinion of her view, 
and she wants this opportunity to touch him and he stopped touching people and shaking hands right before he got to her. Now we've seen this in entertainment. We've seen singers and rappers and, and actors going doing the same thing, meeting the crowd, meeting and greeting the crowd and or signing autographs or taking pictures and meeting and greeting. But it's always that one person that the, the famous person is almost to them and then they're done and they walk away and that one person who was next is like, oh man, I didn't get a chance. And that's the situation the lady was about to be in. So in her desperation, and this is a, a religious situation. So in her mind, she's like, this is, this is about me receiving blessings on my life. That's how she's looking at it. So I think in an act of desperation, in the heat of that moment, she just grabbed the Pope's arm like, hey, man, I was next. And she snatched the Pope's arm. But what was funny, I, man, look, it was funny to me. I'm sorry, I laughed. When she, <laughs> when she snatched the Pope's arm, they showed it in slow motion, man. This, she hurt the Pope's arm, bro. The, <laughs> the Pope's arm was hurt. You can see a look of you can see him just grimace in his face like oh like like what hey man and his arm was hurt so everybody knows man you cannot lie everybody have been in a situation where you might be just doing something and somebody is stepping on your foot and they may not be aware of it or somebody is poking you in the side and and it's hurting and you're like say hey, man. You know, you in the heat of that anger, you like get them off of you. You didn't mean no harm, but it's just the fact that man, it's hurt. And I'm telling you, man, the Pope had a look on his face with man, when that lady snatched his on. The Pope, 83 years old, bro. The Pope ain't no spring chicken. When that lady snatched his arm, the Pope was hurting, bro. <laughs> so you can understand the the heat of the moment reaction. Like, say man. And he like hit a hand like almost in a disciplinary way, like like you would do a child. And then he snatched his arm away and it was hot when he walked off. He was mad. Like, man, I can't believe she <laughs> Man, y'all gotta watch it, bro, if y'all haven't already seen it. But he did come out and apologize because there are levels of restraint that you have to show when you are a public figure like that. But on the same token, on the same token, man, and I can speak for myself. I'll tell y'all a little story. One time I was somewhere doing a show and Anybody who knows me, y'all know me, man. Y'all know I am not the rapper that high sides his fans. I'm not the rapper who won't take pictures. I'm not the rapper who won't sign. I'm not the rapper who disrespects his fans. Y'all can come up to me and we good because I, I can handle me. I'm good. And plus, I, I know how to talk and deal with people, you know. I'm a God, I'm a man, I'm a man who believes in God. So I don't fear or have this apprehension towards people, especially when I appreciate the support that they give. That being said, every now and then, you get that one that just is over the top. They don't know how to let it go. They cross boundaries. They cross lines of personal space. And you got to let them know. Say, man, don't do that. And I've been in that situation before, you know. And you got to let people know. It don't matter how nice you are. It's, it's a line that you don't cross with people. And what I think is, I think this lady just un knowingly she didn't mean to pope any harm she wasn't one of them crazy people in my opinion that was trying to hurt the pope 
you know, I remember when I was little, somebody shot the Pope one time. When I was coming up, one of the older Pope, one of the Popes from back in the days, somebody blasted the Pope. He didn't die. But so you got some crazy people out there. But this woman was just so deep into her spirituality that she felt that she was very close to, I guess, what she believed the closest thing to God. And she wanted her opportunity to touch him and be blessed. And he stopped just short of touching her. And he reacted. So the Pope apologized, which... Yeah, he, he should have apologized. You know, you you, you know, you got to have more restraint. You got to have, have an understanding who you're dealing with, especially if it's, if it's a woman. Now, if a guy would have grabbed his arm and he would smack the guy's hand or something like that, then, yeah. But if it's a woman or a child, you got to recognize the situation. So it is what it is. But I'm y'all watch the video. Tell me what y'all think. Did the Pope trip out? Was he justified? You know, y'all let me know what y'all think and um, watch the video. Anyway, man, one love. Peace.